Motivation is way overrated. Hi, my name is Drew Buddy. Welcome to another episode of Trust Visuals. And before you go out and get your pitch first, uh, let me explain a moment. So, if you go to Instagram or you go to oh, any of these social media websites and you'll see posts like Dream Bigger or some other ephemeral motivational uh, sentence or what. And it, to be honest, that usually doesn't help you get your uh, quick dose of motivational speech and you start daydreaming and you're motivated for one minute and then you're back to your real life. Or maybe you go a little bit longer, maybe you go to a seminar, maybe you take a course or something and you're like motivated. Sometimes you go to these uh, seminars and there's a three day seminar that you go and you come back highly motivated. But we know what's coming. It's just a wave of motivation and then the wave comes crashing down and then you're back to your old self. So my best recommendation for you and by saying my best recommendation I mean what I have found by other people like BJ Fogg, uh, the researcher for Stanford University, is that you take this motivation and you set up a feature in which you can succeed when you're not motivated by doing something small and automatic. Uh, for example, right now, this is an example right now that I'm giving to you for something that I'm doing myself. I'm recording this video because as you guys have been following me, I've been posting a video every week until I reach 100 videos on YouTube because that's a personal product that I have. Well, of course, and now in these months in my personal life, I have competing motivations, which is something that we all have. Sometimes people want to lose weight, and then there's a competing motivation, they have their stress, and they start overeating, or they, they have some other type of goal that they want to achieve, but something else comes in the way. It's called life. <laughs> so, what needs to be done, and what BJ Fogg recommends, is that we set up ourselves uh, yes we use that motivation wave to do a big change in our behaviors or in motivations but then we set up something so we can prepare where the wave crashes down and that's by doing something small for example if you want to do exercise in the morning uh, uh, you put your clothes uh, nearby so you can just don't think about it and just go and do exercises if you want to do savings just automate and save like uh, $50 just by automatically saving that or you can set up any type of behavior that is small for myself right now I have competing motivations that I have to in my personal life and I have my YouTube channel which is a small channel by the way still and I have to keep posting every week so I have set myself uh, to continue to do videos by having my camera nearby already on the tripod the light is already next by when so when it comes to posting i just press record and that's it and maybe at the moment maybe in this few uh upcoming months i can only do smaller videos or i can do just like rants instead of sophisticated edited videos that look like documentaries but it keeps me going while I'll complete this other competing priority that I have right now in my life. So that's why I'm setting up uh, for success. So I recommend that you guys do that. Think of ways that you can maintain yourself doing what you want to do, what behavior you want to change. But then as you're motivated, figure out, okay, how can I make this small so when the wave crashes i keep doing this behavior change that i want to so that's it for today very quick and simple and see you on the next video